Uh. <laughs> Give me a second. I'll, I'll figure it okay, out. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so we. It was so last. It is the aggro shaman, or probably um, could be Reno. All right. Uh, it's yeah. possible. I mean, Reno's not insanely bad. Like, I know Laughing played it for like a month and a half straight. And everybody tends to go straight for that. Like, any build that Laughing's currently playing for Freeze Mage, because nobody else is playing Freeze Mage at the moment. I know Thice tried to play it a little bit, but. Obviously, he didn't do too well in the prelims with yeah, it. I am almost there. I'm almost in the one drops ahead of. Okay, it's Arcane Anomaly. Yeah, Arcane Anomaly. Like that card, potentially, you know, just stay there forever. Like every turn, you're just like, okay, uh, turn one, Arcane Anomaly, coin, Arcane Missiles, or Arcane Blast, something, or play another minion. You know, <laughs> it's just like also you you get a two two for one and follow it up with some other one drop. You just more damage you could potentially do in the That's long run. That's a pretty disgusting combo. Alright, so you're the freeze mage master here between the both of us. So how what do you think about this match? Um, I mean, I haven't really been focusing on freeze mage so much. Uh, I just know that Shaman has the potential to do an insane amount of burst if you're not able to slow him down at all. But then again, you could also just completely crush him by, you know, getting a good Doomsayer out. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, like, doing an Ice Lance right here, like, really puts your opponent in a problematic situation, like... Until, until, like, turn five. But that time, you done a lot of I mean, what? PNC what? is thinking about it so hard, what? yeah, see, I, I was okay with this situation, too, but yeah, like, he's gonna be in trouble, because, you know, giving the Freeze Mage the initiative in the later game is just devastating, they just able to fight back, like... Okay, so he's gonna go with, uh... Acolyte of Pain, so he's probably gonna coin here and then hero power. He could have the option of just passing and hoping that his opponent uses a, a spell to kill it. Because there's not that many three attack haste creatures in. Uh... So yeah, he's actually going with both worlds right here. He's not actually gonna hero power it, so it could stay alive to like an Archer Horse Rider. He's just gonna play his Novice Engineer. He doesn't need to ping it. He figures he's gonna get the draw out of it regardless, because no one's actually running. Um... What is it called? Earthshock. Yeah. And he actually gets a, a second minion on the board, too, so he could actually start slowly pushing damage, too. Like, it may not seem like much, but if you're able to start poking your opponent down, you know, it gives you a, a situation where you could potentially just kill him with reach. Yeah, kill him with reach, right. Like, he could actually, what? He doesn't have to. He doesn't. I mean, like, come on. He has, what? 24 cards left in his deck or something, and he has to draw them oh, all. Maybe. He's yeah. going all in. Probably fears exactly that. Wait, is this enough to pop just block? pop? Oh, not yet, not yet. No. Not yet. Next turn, he will be able to pop block. Next turn, which is pretty early too, and especially when you have a chance to actually pop block, you would always do it rather than being scared of um, the freeze mage actually bursting you down. <laughs> oh, the ice bear. That ice bear was a pretty good pickup. It's gonna buy him another turn easy, unless a lava burst comes up. Yeah. Oh baby. Ooh, another doom hammer. Second doom hammer. I don't know. I, I I think you have to really just ignore the frost barrier and just develop shit on the board and start attacking. Sorry, keeping board control. Like you have the second, you have the second doom hammer. Like you have endless amount of damage, right? So here's like six damage right here. He only has two extra armor, so he's gonna be at nine. But he could just follow this up with hero power ping on the acolyte of pain, trade it into either tunnel trog or wait, does he have? Okay, he does have blizzard, so he could actually. But well, he could also follow it up with the Frostbolt next turn as well. So yeah, it looks like he's gonna go with that line. Oh baby. Yeah, just freeze everything and just try to prevent as much damage as possible. You're setting up for a pretty nice effort here, so... Yeah, I agree with that. Oh, so he is running the double, um... Uh, Acolyte of Pain, which... Would make me think that it's not... Reno. But... I mean, there's just so many different... Like he probably. Oh yeah, that's nine damage. Yeah. Exactly. So he probably wants to put uh, Nell Gaiden into like one health before popping the block. Yeah, this is really troublesome for him. Like, there's just no way. Yeah. Uh, he's like he's not getting an additional value out of the Doomsayer. He's, he's not. He can't follow it up with Emperor yeah. next turn. That's why I 
thought about like just freezing the face. Yeah, freezing yeah. the face yeah. and then just cross Nova so that you can set up for Emperor. Because uh, you're, you're, you don't have to play block. So yeah, right? giving up that one additional draw, like maybe not thinking the Acolyte was the correct play there. That's what, that's what I thought too. So right now he's really <laughs> in a tight spot. Because almost anything can pop the block if he plays it right now. He probably needs another Ice Barrier. He's looking for Alex Straza at this point. Yeah, Alex Straza is... Good. Even Frost Barrier is not that safe. Like, he could just draw another Lava Burst or something. You have to follow yeah, up with so, Ice Block. Yeah, so his next top deck has to be Alex Straza. Yep, so he would have had it. Yeah. If Frost Barrier wasn't even a save. Yeah. Now I'm gonna mess with it. I don't even want to see Frost Barrier. He also didn't play the Origin Horse Rider plus the Flame. When you're actually setting up for lethal, so that you know your opponent can't kill you while you're gonna kill them, but it ended up costing him the game there, right? Drawing one additional card off the Acolyte of Pain instead of Frost Holding Face. Pretty crazy. This is the reason why, like, Freeze Mage is having problems at the moment. Like, he's played it so well, and just one misstep ends up costing the game. Like, he's not even, like, obviously he's, like, not even aware that that was even a probability for him to die there, or have his ice block pop there. Like, he felt that he was already safe. Yeah. Fre so much reach yeah, for the Shaman. Freeze Mage really requires perfection, like, perfected play, in order to actually beat most of the matchup, even if the disadvantage matchups. That's why laughing is so good, but he also knows how to tech the deck into, um, into, like, countering the meta and stuff like that. So he could go Blizzard into uh, oh, there's an Nova Face, that would have saved him. Yeah, just Blizzard. Just, just hope your opponent play. doesn't have any other direct kind of damage. I mean, yeah, two damage is so easy for the Shaman, it's not even yeah. funny. Yeah, so it's lethal right here. Easily with the Flame Tail. 